All right, so everybody's telling me to do mayo and an egg for protein in my hair. I am going to school to be a hairdresser. Just watch what you say. I'm on a recording. So this is what we're doing here now. I guess I need to get a little bowl to mix it up. So let's see. Mm -hmm. that bowl's not That'll work. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, my little assistant. So one egg. Assistant. Same mayo up in here. Actually, can you go in my workroom and grab me gloves if you don't mind? Where? Where? In my workroom in the in the um, pull out thing. Um, Spoons that I'm actually gonna use. Let's mix this up real good, old fashioned way. Yes, I have one of these old fashioned things. Get that egg nice and beaten. Um, I let my friend do my hair that was going to school too. She messed up majorly on my hair and I have major breakage. Never again will she touch my hair. Um, thank you. Now, and the other thing, I need the, the gloves, not that glove. It's in where I do the makeup, where I do the hair stuff at. It's right underneath of there. It's right there when you walk by the the door, right behind the door it should be. Get a little bit more of this mail that's left up in here, up in here, up in here. Um. That part's done. Uh... Kind of reminds me of a hair mask in a way, like your own homemade hair mask. But that should be enough for my hair. I still kind of don't know what you're talking about. Don't walk in front of the camera. All right, then. See that, Joe? Yeah. All right, I'll have to wash my hand. All right, so got my glove, my handy-dandy gloves. Pink are one of my favorite gloves, actually. I bought a different kind this time that I have in there that I'm not very fond of. What but the I heck? Definitely... All these dishes are basically dirty. It happens. Dishwasher does. Sometimes dishwashers do that. That's also dirty. It's fine. We got more dishes to clean anyways after my, my, my hair mask here. So, you know, the dishwasher to be clean. <sighs> Trying to get these gloves on. All right. My hands are a little swollen today. Just a little. Um, like I said, I learned a major mistake. Here. There's nothing. They're all dirty. All right. Baby spoon, really? So, if you guys can see, this piece here is absolutely short to down here. This piece here is supposed to be as long as my pieces down there. So, yeah, a lot of breakage. Somebody didn't watch my time like they're supposed to. Somebody was in my hair, tell me she was wiping it off, but comes out she wasn't, and she mixed up with the developer. So... Let's see, I guess the easiest way is to, I was going to use a spoon. Want a spoon? Yeah. Get a spoon, kind of get it in your hand like that. Ugh, it feels weird and it's cold. <laughs> Make sure I get it on root to end. It smells wonderful, let me tell you. Not, it does not smell good. I feel like I'm putting an egg salad on my head right now. Let's get these sides. Mush it around. Right here, mushy, mushy. It does spread nicely, I will say that. Get a 
up in there, get around, okay. And then we're gonna take this part down. All right, where are we at? That part there didn't get touched, just up there. As you can see, the little pieces here are broken. Get right up on that piece. I'm gonna go to the back of my head. Because the back of my head, there ain't much hair there from a medication a long time ago that I lost some of my hair, fortunately. That's why I was trying to be very careful with my hair, but it happens, you know. I always say in beauty school, there's always a learning curve because one of the people actually that are not in beauty school, they left, cut my hair, and they cut into my back too far. And it happens, you know. And most people do care about their hair, but because I've been through so much with my hair, then I'm at the point, oh, it's just hair, you know. But then your clients are not going to think that, oh, it's just hair, you know. So you want to make sure you really take really good care of your clients. Um, and I think that's why I'm so, like, picky when it comes to my clients. It's like double-checking over... i rather over-check somebody's hair that has lightener on it than they don't have lightener on it. Hey, and Brad, if you ever watch one of my videos, you're a hair person. Are you supposed to be saying bleach? Okay? I have to call you out on that, okay? I have to, Mr. Brad. I love watching your, your videos. I... I uh, know your last name starts with an M. I'm really bad with last names and first names. But I had to call you out on that. I'm like, he keeps saying bleach. I'm like, bleach is used for your wash, okay? Like, I want to get a bottle of a bleach and a bottle of our lightener and ask you guys which one's supposed to go on your head. Like, you know better. We do not call it bleach. It is called lightener. Bleach is a no-no on your head. Do not seek bleach from your laundry area and put it on your head, okay? I just had to call you out for that because I thought it was funny when I keep hearing you say, bleach, 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 bleach. And I'm like, no, it's not bleach. It's lightener is what we call it. Bleach is for your laundry. Now, I think I got all my whole back. I'm going to have my daughter check. Does it look like yes. my whole back is covered in? Yeah. Nice, all the way down. All right. That's on camera, so... Right there. This side I don't have to worry about because it's my regrowth, but why not, right? If we're gonna do the whole head, why not do the side? Now the side's not lost. That's me cutting it for my mom that I lost four years ago. She had brain surgery, she had aneurysm, and I cut her, she cut had to cut her hair off to have it, and I've been cutting my hair ever since. Sometimes I let it grow a little bit, sometimes I let it cut, and then she passed away from Lou Gehrig's disease, unfortunately. So, she kept telling me, if you don't let your hair grow back, I'm going to come back and haunt you. So, sometimes it's good that I just leave it so she can come back and haunt me in a good way. All right, so that is on for 45 minutes, but I'm not going to sit here for 45 minutes. Um, it's be kind of boring. So, I will come back after I rinse it off, and we will see how this looks. I'm going to put a bag on my head because I don't have plastic. I thought I did, but I don't. So sometimes we have to compromise, right? So it works. I call these my doggy poopy bags because, you know, you pick dog shit up with it. Hey, I'm all about free bags from Walmart. You get a couple extra while you're there or the food store. Best for picking up dog shit. The best. So now my head is completely covered. All right, let me move out of your way. This you can throw in the trash can up there. And these two. Thank you. Oops, that'll turn off. We're going to go this way real quick. Thank you for the help. And what I'm going to do is I love this little gadget a good friend got me. It's the best thing ever. And it really helps with a lot of things. Watch this. Ah, uh, Computer. Set alarm for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, starting now. now. Best thing ever. I love this thing. Sometimes when I can't speak, I'll tell me how to speak a word. So I hope everybody has a good day. I'll be back, like I said, in a little bit. And I'll see you guys soon. Toodles!